Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Today's video will be pretty short, because it's a pretty quick game on the map Dispatch. We're playing Infinity CTF. And what I'd like to discuss in today's video is the topic of ordnance stacking in Infinity CTF. And literally, that is how you want to get the overshield. You're always going to one run for overshield top middle, grab it by thruster packing towards it, and then immediately go for the enemy flag. Unfortunately, this player isn't playing. He ends up playing for the rest of the game, though, I believe. So I pick up this quick double kill. What I want to discuss is, look how much my ordnance meter is already built up. On the very left-hand side of the screen, that little circle meter with the box in the center of it, that is my ordnance meter. When I build that all the way up, I get my next ordnance. So as soon as I cap this flag right here, I'm going to get 100 metal points, which will get me my next ordinance. And if my next ordinance contains a speed boost or an overshield, that will allow me to help get the next flag very quickly. Basically, counter capping multiple times on the enemy team. As you can see, I just got my ordinance. And I'm going to see what it is. And I believe right here, sorry for all the grenades, I believe right here is a speed boost. So I call down the speed boost. And the reason why I'm not pushing towards the center of the map, which is probably the fastest, is because I'm already on this street. And I recognize that the enemy players are not on the street. Now again, if you do not understand how I just did that, I call down the ordnance, sprint the enemy flag, but as I grab the enemy flag, I, I thruster pack. You see how I thruster pack to the side? And it immediately puts me off their base so that anyone on their platform would have a hard time reaching me. That's why I did that. You always want to be doing that when you grab the flag. Thruster packing back towards your base. You have to thruster pack as you grab the flag, as you cannot use your armor ability or thruster pack while you're holding the flag. So right here, the speed boost lasts for a really long amount of time. And on this map, because it's so small, it's really useful for capping the enemy flag. And you'll see I get actually a decent amount across the map, end up failing with two melees. Putting some good solid shots into the enemy players before they clean me up bottom mid. My teammates are going to eventually get that flag and move it towards our capture zone. So as you can see, I've, I have my next ordinance in tow and I grab the damage boost to try to help my teammate get back to our base. Unfortunately, I didn't see this player to the left here and he ends up killing our flag carrier. So I'm going to clean him up and then grab the flag and be able to plan it for the flag champion. And as you can see, I immediately I get my next ordinance again because of the 100 point metal score I got for capping the flag. And I would like to point out and notice here that my damage boost is no longer in effect because I grabbed the speed boost. The only thing that is not affected by grabbing another power up is the overshield. If you grab an overshield and then a speed boost, your overshield does not immediately deplete. However, if you have a damage boost and you grab a speed boost, your speed boost eliminates the effect of the damage boost. So right now, I'm only, I only have a speed boost right here. I do see that overshield has popped up top mid, as you can see on the right-hand side of my screen, the little HUD icon. So I believe my teammate's going to get that. Once again, rusher packing right as I grab the flag. My teammate's going to clean, get that overshield. Not sure he, why he dropped off of top mid plat and didn't grab the overshield. I guess he's a little focused on the enemy player, a little tunnel vision there. But as you can see, my teammate now has the overshield, so we're going to push to the enemy flag. And right here, I don't actually end up getting this flag back to our base. I end up just providing some good shots there. I don't know why I'm shooting with my bolt shot, as my teammate's going to make it back to our base because he has the overshield. And I believe he wanted to just get that metal score there. So guys, in this game, I just wanted to really show you how on small maps you can stack your ordnance to take advantage of the enemy team and really, really utilize the overshields on this map. Again, the best two maps that this strategy works on is Dispatch, the map we just played on, and Simplex, because they both have overshields that spawn top middle. And if you can grab that overshield, immediately go for the enemy's flag and cap it, you will immediately get your next ordnance. And those will typically have speed boosts or overshield in those ordinances. So guys, if you liked the video, subscribe and like for more future Halo 4 content. And I'll see you on the next video, whatever I end up recording. Peace, guys.